I studied Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, and the top 100 billionaires, and I found these 33 secrets that you can use to make more money. And the richest 1% of billionaires own almost half of the world's wealth. But more importantly, 80% of billionaires and 70% of millionaires are self-made. So if all these people can do it, you can do it too. And I'm going to show you the 33 secrets that they use to be able to create their wealth. And I'm going to share with you the first secret in just a second. But before I do that, make sure to smash the like button because I spent over a hundred hours researching all the information that went into this video. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Travis. I've done over $10 million in online sales, but the first secret that billionaires use to make more money is gratitude. Dr. Andrew Hughes says the practice of gratitude ends up leading to more dopamine, more serotonin. These are the chemicals in your brain that give you the ability to think and get things done, which the more dopamine and serotonin you have, the more success you're going to have. And studies show that a regular gratitude practice leads to 15% higher optimism and a 25% boost in sleep quality. The second thing that billionaires do is they follow their bliss. That's not to say that they don't work hard, but Joseph Campbell studied thousands of different cultures and their stories and found that the common thing that every single culture was trying to teach through their stories was that you should follow your bliss and that's gonna lead to ultimate success. And again, when you're doing things that you're passionate about, your dopamine, your serotonin, all those brain chemicals spike, which means that you can effortlessly do work. Billionaires understand the concept of passive income. And that's what I teach here on this YouTube channel. And if you wanna make a billion dollars, you can't do it through pure effort alone. You need to create systems and machines and companies that can make you money while you sleep. And I set up my first passive income business using Amazon FBA. This is where you can sell products on Amazon's website and they handle everything for you, including shipping the product to the customer. And my first Amazon business did over $100,000 in profit in my first year. Even though I was traveling and enjoying my life and not working on my business, I was still able to make that money. But if you wanna get to a billion dollars, you're gonna need multiple streams of income. And the average millionaire has seven streams of income. And you can make money by having a job, which is not passive and requires your time or you can make your money by creating a business that will make you money on autopilot, buying property and renting it out, investments, lending your money out and getting interest, selling assets or one of a number of different income streams. But the most important thing is you don't want your time to be directly tied to your money. Otherwise, it's gonna be very hard to become a billionaire. And billionaires don't think in weeks, months or years, they think in decades and centuries. Bill Gates famously said that most people overestimate how much they can get done in a year and they underestimate how much they can get done in a decade. You making your first million or billion dollars won't happen overnight, but it's exponential. And billionaires understand exponential returns. If you double a penny every single day, in just 28 days, you'd have a million dollars. And in just 38 days, you'd have a billion dollars. You need to invest your time and money into things that could double, triple, quadruple in value, not just give you small returns. And billionaires understand the idea of escape velocity. When we send a rocket to the moon, which is 200,000 miles away, 90% of the fuel used for that rocket to get there is used within the first 62 miles. This is because it takes a ton of energy just to escape Earth's gravity. And the same thing is true for any business that you start. You're gonna spend more energy making your first $1,000 from a business than you are making the next $100,000. And as someone that's done it, I'm gonna tell you that it's harder to make $100,000 than it is a million. Because once you've created a business that can make a hundred thousand dollars, getting to a million dollars isn't that much harder. Billionaires know this and they use the 80-20 principle to get there. Known as the Pareto principle, 20% of the work that you do leads to 80% of the results that you get. And I use this principle to make my first million dollars. I analyze what was I doing that was leading to results. And then I cut out everything else that wasn't making me money. And this led to me doubling my income every year since I quit my job. And the truth is, when I first quit my job, I didn't know what I was doing. My first year as an entrepreneur, I only made $5,000. But I learned from what worked, and the next year I made $10,000, $20,000, $40,000, $80,000. And over time, with my income doubling every year, now I make over a million dollars a year. And billionaires know that success is an emergent property. This is a crucial concept to understand. You have a bunch of car parts scattered on the ground. They don't really do much, but if you assemble those parts together 
perfectly. You create a new thing called a car that has emergent properties. It can now drive, it can go, it can move you forward. But it's not just because the individual parts, it's how you put them together. And the same thing is true when you're assembling your business. Good entrepreneurs know how to find the right pieces and assemble a machine that's going to make them money. The way to create passive income is to create a funnel. And this is how one of the funnels for one of my Amazon FBA businesses work. There are about 10,000 people per month searching for high caffeine tea or something related to that. Of those 10,000 people, only about 10% of people will click on my product listing. Of the people that click on my product listing, only about 20% of people will actually purchase. And since this product is around $25 per unit, that means that this product will be making $5,000 per month. And billionaires understand that if you wanna make more money from a business, you have two options. Either you can increase the amount of people going into your funnel, or you can increase the conversion rate between every step of your funnel. But when billionaires have an idea, they don't wait. And this is one of the big differences between you and me and billionaires is speed of implementation. How many people do you know that had an idea, they don't do anything with it, and then a few years later, they see that idea turned into a multi-million dollar business. You don't wanna be one of those people. When you get an idea, you wanna start taking action. Most people get stuck in analysis paralysis, but billionaires create an MVP. MVP stands for minimal viable product. When Facebook, Google, and even Apple first came out, their initial products didn't look that amazing. But over time, they improved their product and became the trillion dollar businesses that they are. Reid Hoffman, the founder of LinkedIn said, if you're not embarrassed by the first version of your product or idea, you've waited too long. So don't wait to get your business started. But now that I've shared with you how to see the world differently, let me share with you the mental tools that billionaires use that you and I can also use to make more money. Mark Zuckerberg had Steve Jobs as a mentor. Bill Gates had Warren Buffett as a mentor. And my question to you is, who do you have as a mentor? The average person tries to do everything on their own, but billionaires understand that other people have knowledge and insights and can help them to achieve success faster. In fact, entrepreneurs that have a mentor increase their revenue by 83% on average. And Isaac Newton said that if he can see farther, if he can understand math better than other people, it's because he was standing on the shoulders of giants. Find someone that's already done what you wanna do and learn from them. And that's why I created my five-day mindset challenge. Link in the description. And billionaires also use mastermind groups. Billionaires know that they can grow faster if they surround themselves with smart, successful people. They say it takes a village to raise a child. The same thing's true with business and success. And billionaires know this and they use the mastermind principle to succeed. And a mastermind is where you get together multiple smart, successful people to help you to solve your problems. The next tool is to review and plan your success. And Tony Robbins says that setting goals is the first step to turning the invisible into the visible. Billionaires spend 90% of their time planning. Jeff Bezos said that his job at Amazon was to just make a few key decisions per day. That's it. Average people like you and me are oftentimes the soldiers on the battlefield. Billionaires are the generals. They're looking at the big picture and the strategy. And when you're first starting your business, you're gonna have to be the soldier. You're gonna have to do some of the work, but you also need to make sure that you spend time as the general and take that 30,000 foot view and plan your life accordingly. The other secret that billionaires know and why they spend their money on yachts, private jets, and private islands is to make sure that they can spend their time optimally resting, relaxing, and recharging. Leonardo da Vinci said, when you go away far from your problems, your problems seem smaller and it's easier to figure out solutions. Most people spend their time working in their business and it's very hard to grow your business when you're working inside. What billionaires do is they take time away from their business so they can look at their business from a different angle and grow it from the outside. And billionaires use the concept of lead domino to get as much work done in their business with as little effort as possible. Billionaires find the one thing that they can do that will lead to a cascade effect of success. An example of this is when I hired my first virtual assistant. It allowed me to stop being stuck in my business and start focusing on growing my business. The next tool is the idea of locus of control. Billionaires understand that there's some things that you can control and some things that you can't. And you should not spend any time thinking about, worrying about, or caring about the things that you can't control. Stop watching the news and debating and scrolling and spending all your time 
focusing on things that you can't control. Instead, focus on the few things that you can. And when something happens that's sad, bad, or makes you mad, ask yourself, is there anything I can do about this? And if you can't, you have to let it go, surrender, and move on and focus on the things you can control. And regular people focus purely on the outcomes. Did I make money? Did I have success? Billionaires know instead you should focus on the process. Are you doing the things that are eventually going to lead to success? Even if it means that you lose in the short term, are you building the habits and patterns that long term are going to lead to you making more money? And once you figure out what processes are going to lead to your success, it's time for you to automate and systematize. Again, billionaires don't do all the work themselves. They use people and machines to do the work for them at a fraction of the price. This allows them to work on multiple projects and get more done. And you can hire virtual assistants or set up software and apps that'll automatically do your work for you. And now with AI, it's easier than ever to get things done. Billionaires spend their money on things that are going to make them more money. And Jeff Bezos used the concept of the flywheel to turn Amazon into a trillion dollar company. He realized by selling things online, he could lower his prices, which would lead to a better customer experience. This would make it so that a lot of people would want to sell on Amazon's website, which would lead to Amazon having a ton of products and making the customer experience even better. And this led to a virtuous cycle, meaning that the business would start growing on its own. And now Amazon is a trillion dollar company. They have over 300 million prime customers and every single month, over 2.4 billion people are going to their website. There are a lot more mental tools that I teach in my five day mindset challenge link down below. But now let's talk about the habits that billionaires use to have success. And most people start with what they need to do in order to make a billion dollars. But billionaires start with why. And the key is most billionaires why isn't they want to have a billion dollars to buy a private yacht. They want to change the world and they happen to make a billion dollars along the way. For instance, Apple wanted to bring the power of computing to the masses because they realized that this was going to change the world for the better. And because they really believed in their mission, they've since become a trillion dollar company, the most profitable company in the history of the world. This is one of the first things I teach students in my Amazon FBA program is don't just say, I want to make a hundred thousand dollars passive income. Think about why, why do you want to make that money? How will that change your life? And then making that money becomes a lot easier. The second secret is to throw your hat over the wall. And this is a way for you to get leverage on yourself, for you to make sure you actually do the things you say you're going to do. And imagine that you saw a wall that you wanted to climb, but it was scary and you were unsure if you were going to be able to do it. And you happen to be wearing your favorite hat. If you wanted to guarantee that you're going to climb that wall, you could take your hat, throw it over the wall, which is pretty easy to do. And then you'd have a strong motivation to actually face your fears and climb the wall. When I was starting my first Amazon FBA business, I was terrified. I was afraid that I was going to fail, that I was going to waste a bunch of money on this business. So what I did is I spent a few thousand dollars to get an initial production run of my product. And because I didn't want to lose that money, I ended up doing a Kickstarter where I raised $15,000. I then cashed out my 401k and invested every last drop of savings I had into my first production run because I knew that if I put everything I had into this business, I would make sure and do everything I could to make it successful. And this business went on to do over a million dollars in sales, over $400,000 in profit. But the easy way to make success happen is to make it a habit. If you want to make success happen, you need to create habits that are going to lead to success. And there's a three-step process to do this. And the first step is to understand tiny habits. Let's say that you don't currently floss your teeth and you want to start flossing your teeth every single night. But what's going to happen is one night you're going to forget to floss your teeth. You're going to be laying in bed and say, oops, I forgot, but I don't want to get up because it's going to be too much work. But if instead you have a tiny habit goal of flossing just one tooth, you will easily get out of bed to do that. And while you're up, you'll probably end up just flossing the rest of your teeth. The same thing's true if you want to start exercising or start meditating. Don't say that you're going to go to the gym for two hours a day, every single day. Instead, create the tiny habit of going to the gym for just five minutes a day, three days a week. Or with meditation, set the goal to meditate for one minute or two minutes, not for 40 minutes every single day. Billionaires then use the idea of habit stacking. This is where you create one habit and you use that as a trigger to tell yourself to do the next habit. We are just animals and you need to train your brain the same way you would train a puppy to sit. You say sit, 
that triggers the puppy to sit. And you can use habit stacking so that when you finish one habit, it triggers your brain automatically to start the next habit that you wanna include in your routine. And I've been able to use this in my life so that when I'm done making my bed, it automatically triggers me to go drink a glass of lemon water. When I'm done drinking that glass of lemon water, my brain knows that it's time to go meditate. From there, you can stack on more and more habits like exercising, eating healthy, and working for the day. But billionaires know that if you're trying to train yourself to do a new habit, you need to give yourself a reward. When the puppy sits, you give them a treat. When kids eat their vegetables, you let them have dessert. And when I get done working for the day, I go to the beach. How are you rewarding yourself and making sure that your brain knows that it's worth doing the work because it's going to get a reward? Billionaires have investors and boards and people that keep them accountable for their decisions. My question to you is who do you have keeping you accountable? And when you join the five day mindset challenge, we have an entire Facebook group that you get to join for free and everybody in the Facebook group will keep you accountable to your goals. When you're creating your habits and setting your goals, understand that you're probably going to have to make constant adjustments. When a plane flies from LA to New York, it doesn't just go in a straight line. It's constantly making little adjustments because if a plane leaving from LA going to New York was off by just one degree, it would end up 40 miles away from its target. So as you get closer to your goals, you're gonna have to adjust. And one idea to keep in mind when setting your goals is to use the 10X rule. If your goal is to make a million dollars, think about how could you make $10 million? And this is a thought experiment that billionaires use. They think about how could they make the biggest impact possible? Because when you do that, you have to question the fundamentals of reality. Most people have small goals. For instance, your average corporate drone has the goal of making six figures or $100,000. And you can probably easily do that working at your job if you get enough raises. But if I told you, you had to make $1 million in the next year. That would mean that you can't keep working at your boring job. You would need to think outside the box and take massive action. You'd probably have to quit your job, start a brand new business, and do something extreme in order to hit that goal. And doing the 10X thought experiment forces you to change your mindset. The problem is most of us have upper limit beliefs. We have internal voices in our head telling us that we can't reach our goals. When we grew up, we didn't have a lot of money. And there was an idea in my family that rich people were wasteful, that they would waste their money on extravagant things and thus rich people were bad. And as I've started to become wealthy, there's a part of me that realizes I'm becoming one of those bad people who's wasting money. Because now I spend tens of thousands of dollars and sometimes I make a mistake and I'm wasteful. And I struggled for a long time and there was a part of me that didn't want to be successful because I knew that I'd start becoming more wasteful. Billionaires overcome these limiting beliefs by using inevitability thinking. Whenever you have a goal, ask yourself, how can I make it inevitable? that I will hit my goal. For instance, I wanted to learn to surf, so I prepaid for 10 lessons, knowing that I don't like to waste money, which means that I'm gonna show up for every single lesson, and after 10 lessons, I'm probably gonna know how to surf. This is also why I tell people to join my Amazon FBA program, because when you spend the money on the program, you're gonna make it inevitable that you're going to succeed, because you're probably like me, and you don't like to waste money. And when you make a commitment, you follow through. So figure out how you can set goals and make it inevitable that you will hit those goals. But understand that change is not quick. You are like a giant ship going through the ocean. And if you want to change course, you're probably not going to be able to do it quickly. It's going to take time. It's going to take thousands of small little micro adjustments. And I've spent the last 10 years studying how to have success, how to properly improve your mindset. And I've turned those 10 years into one mindset challenge that you can get by clicking the link down below. So click on the link, join the five day mindset challenge. It's only $1 and I will see you in that program. Thanks for watching.